Thank you to Liquid IV and Babbel for sponsoring this video. More on them after the reaction. What is happening there, citizens of the Reject Nation? We are going to watch The Iron Claw today. Joined by my wife, Olivia. And I really wanted this one to be with her because out of anyone I know in, in real, real life, life, she is undoubtedly the one who loves Zac Efron the most. Oh, <laughs> She's the one who God. knows the absolute most about wrestling. She's constantly like, I got to show you this. I got to show you this. We got to watch this episode of Dark Side of Wrestling. It's, it's constant, constant about wrestling. And so when it came to this movie, which I haven't even seen. The, have you seen the trailer for this? I have seen the trailer for it, yeah. And you know the story. I do know the story. Yeah, I don't know anything about this story. I've just heard Zac Efron's great. <laughs> That's all I've heard. Like, He's really buff and great in the movie. And uh, yeah, I imagine the, this is going to be a fun one. It's going to be a hilarious one. If there's a Dark so Side of Ring one, funny. you know, it's going to be this is a comedy. I know. A good old high school musical, Zac Efron, is where we're going to get right Hee-haw the whole way through. Can't wait. So, ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and leave a like on this video. That'd be very much appreciated. Subscribe, click the notification bell, because we got more reactions coming your way. Thank you to Primer for helping us set it down these highlights, and thank you to all who have joined us at our Patreon page. Over there, you get the full-length reaction. Watch along. This is where you sync up with your own copy of Iron Claw, available for our super sexy rejects. John and I cover several things over there exclusively with highlights and watch-alongs included. All right, babe, you ready? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go. Don't fall asleep during the intros. I hear that spiel so much. I know. <laughs> I know. How do you think I feel? Whoa. Looks like a miniature. Feels so small from this size. Well, things size. are on a much grander scale nowadays. Back then, this is what smaller indie promotions look like, even mm. today. Jeez, what a harrowing, dreadful start. Oh. Oh, that's great. See the whole crowd now? Ouch. Oh, oh get it? The claw. Oh, that's the iron claw. <laughs> oh, okay. It's like a raging bull. that loudness and then suddenly it's quiet as hell. Of course that guy fought. I sure did. Oh, the Iron Claw. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting strong. He's the guy from Mindhunter. Is he? Yeah, Holt. You see anything, daddy? Not a jam. See, Greg, his physique, he's a wrestler. You could get away with it, too. Jeez. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm just saying, you are always like, you gotta be like these super buff guys. This is 50 years ago. <laughs> You guys like it? Oh, Dad, it's incredible. It's incredible. Jack, where is our car? That's it, right there. I had the boys swap it out during the show. Surprise! I don't know, I feel like she's happy. Uh, yeah. Thinking we can't afford this. She's you. <laughs> I was talking to the promoter. He said if I want to be a star, I need to act. That's correct. Want me to run the Cadillac? I'm not even oh, like ask how much it costs. That's bad. That's bad financial decision making. How much does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> I'm almost there. We need a real house, a safe place to raise these guys. Oh, are they living in the RV now? The only way to beat it is to be the toughest, the strongest, the most successful, the absolute best. To rely on no one but ourselves. I will get us there. Wow, that well, kid gets You the will heart. get us there. <laughs> I will be the NWA World Heavyweight Champion. And nothing will hurt us ever again. The only love for I have put my trust in you. Show me the way I should go for in you. I entrust my life. Wow, children are just being witness to the disparaging parts of the relationship. Isn't that every family? Well, it's interesting. They're just focusing on the boys' yeah. reaction to all of it. I like that transition. Walking Dead. <laughs> 
He did specific workouts to get his nipples to that. Ex- <laughs> I was going to ask, is, is this fake? Is he wearing a bodysuit? Is it like makeup? <laughs> no, it's real. That's all I heard about this movie. You think he had to take drugs? <laughs> Test. Whoa. Oh, wow. Let's go for a ride. Come on, let's go. No, 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 I'm not doing that. This feels so authentic. Jesus. Guns. guns. Jesus and guns. <laughs> Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. We never talked about it. And I don't know if my brothers and I believed it back then, but bad things kept happening. Hmm. Mom tried to protect us with God. Pop tried to protect us with wrestling. He said if we were the toughest, the most successful, nothing could ever hurt us. Wow. I believed it. We all did. Seems like getting into the body was so important for this character. Oh, raking his eyes on the ropes. Tisk tisk. It's interesting how whenever we're in the ring, they shoot at this like such disorienting fashion. That's interference. I do love wrestling, man. <laughs> Can't believe they CGI'd this whole crowd. <laughs> It's interesting how whenever we're in this like wrestling celebration, it's always juxtaposed with this constant darkness that motivates them. Eat like you're a starving nut. Good morning. If I only quickly I take my food, ma. That's how I feel when I eat around you, though. <laughs> you're growing well, but you need to bulk up, get some strength in those arms. I'll always have your back, Mike. You won't always be around. The kid won't be able to defend himself. Against what? Carrie is about to become the family's first Olympian. Kevin is the NWA Texas champion. David is about to make his ring debut. Oh, come on. It's time for you to start thinking about what you're going to be. Well, Kevin's going to live out the family dreams. Now, we all know Carrie's my favorite, then Kev, then David, then Mike. <laughs> but the rankings can always change. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, man, just make them, make them compete for, your, for the approval. At least he's honest about it, I guess. I don't know what's worse. <laughs> You're such a disappointment, Mike. Come That's on, Dave. I gotta take a dump. Sure, David. Go for it, David. Yeah, man. Mike, shut up! Give me a second! Is that the Iron Claw? <laughs> uh, Mo? Hey, Kevin. Can I talk to you about something? Baby, that's what your brothers are for. <laughs> There's so much, like, emotional abuse in this family. <laughs> oh, my God. Dad's too tough on Mike, Mo. You gotta say something. I don't think she's gonna do anything about it. I mean, she just seems like a shell of her former self. I know. Please. Kevin, that's between yes. them. Now go, get ready. In 15 minutes. She's just a robot at this point. It's interesting that he still has so much pressure on all of the sons. Like a certain expectation out of every single one of them. You think after the first one does good, you're like, who cares about the rest, you know? Yeah, it's his philosophy for them to be the best. Seems like he goes to church out of obligation, not because mm-hmm. he actually wants to be there. Probably because she's making him. Remember they said she protects him with God and he mm. protects him with wrestling? Probably feels like God let him down. Yeah, you can already tell the way he's looking up. Damn, wherever they shot this really does feel like a, from a different time period. Mm-hmm. Oh, he wants to be a rock star. I don't He's think that's what his daddy wants. Artist in the family. Yeah. I'm starving. Uh, can we get burgers on the way? Ooh, veggie girl sounds good. It does. I like these quiet moment touches of them. It's like this slice of life moments. Yeah. You can tell they're very close, very family oriented. Probably because they've had to protect each other growing up. True, true. We have the newly crowned Texas heavyweight champion, Kevin Von Erich here. And he's scheduled to fight in a tag team match later on tonight against Gino Hernandez. Ooh. 
and Bruiser Brody, but his partner is still a mystery. That's right, Bill. I just want to say that Gino, you've been running that mouth of yours way, way too long. Now I'm here to take care of it. <laughs> do I have something special for you tonight, buddy? Can we just do that again for yeah, a Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> you see the lack of confidence there? Yeah. First off, I just want to say that Gino, you've been shooting your mouth off way, way too long about me and my family. Hmm. I got something special for you. Boy, oh boy. More inflection. He brought up the family. David, I hear you. Stop. I didn't say anything. Still remains a mystery. That's right, Bill. I got something special <laughs> tonight. You know, first off. That's the worst take. Gino, you've been shooting your mouth off. Shooting your mouth. Shoot, shooting your mouth. Shit. <laughs> This has to be very hard, though, because you have to have that charisma for the fans to, like, root for you. Yeah, it's true. You can't really just rely on the looks. You have to have the personality, too. Just get out of here. Yeah, yes, please. And then, like, if you've built up a certain character, you've got to stay in that character. Cowbell. Like, the costumes, cars, and just the sets they built, like, these little touches just feel, it really does feel real. Especially the makeup's like a, really well, too. And then have, like, a good tracking shot of this. I want you to really sell it to tag Gino in, fight him back, give him a body slam, an elbow drop. He's going to drive you to the corner, stay there. Oh, is that his brother? He's going to be his tag team partner here? All right, David. Welcome to the show. Ooh. They do a lot of these like sensory things where it's like loud crowd stuff that just cuts to like, it's quiet now. <laughs> Ooh. Where's the mom? Church. <laughs> and a kick out from Gino. Kevin getting up to the top rope. 30 days now. Huge flying cross. Damn, Zach Efron really trained for this. I know. I bet they trained at like a performance center with actual wrestlers. His father's notorious signature move. Oh, and he slaps it on Gino. Look at it. <laughs> Look out! Like a crushing of the cranium. And no See, loud, <laughs> quiet. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if she's the love interest. No, 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 no. <laughs> Highly doubted. Love interests are never cut to like that. Can I get your autograph? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Oh, don't you want to ask me who to make it out to? Oh, yeah. It's Pam. Pam. Oh, he nervous. You're supposed to say nice to meet you, Pam. Oh. Do you he... think he's nervous or he just doesn't care? I'm sorry. Uh... He seems kind of dazed. Probably got a concussion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you uh, want my brother sign? No, just you. Okay, then. Nah, uh, he feels less than. No, he's definitely, I'm not getting nervous vibes. Your folks not teach you how to ask questions? Like what? <laughs> See, I think he's just like, he had all those other girls around him. You know, who shall I make this out to? Or, um, or would you like to have a drink with me sometime, Pam? Are you asking me out? See, he's <laughs> like. We feel a little worse while you're at it. No, no, no. <laughs> I would love to go out with you, Pam. was not that, yeah, I just, I've just never been asked before. Uh. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll go well, and then no one else will have the chance to ask you again. Aww. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably been told to stay away from, like, dating and women to focus on his career, you know? It's interesting how he doesn't have a relationship with his mom, and immediately she kind of mothers him right at the very yeah. top. The Saturday rating's back. Highest numbers ever. Sweet. Taylor Swift must have been in the crowd. <laughs> They want to offer us a national slot for Saturday nights. So he runs the promotion, I'm assuming. If we perform and we have a world heavyweight champion in our rust, we could be the biggest promotion in wrestling. Ooh. What do you want in life, Kevin Bonner? To be heavyweight champion. More ribs? <laughs> I want to be world heavyweight champion. Hmm. Nailed it. <laughs> well, can you just explain that to me? Because and I'll just fake. Fake? There's nothing fake about what we do. OK, all right. Not fake. Prearranged, written. That's a fair question. Correct. Yes, but in any industry, based on your performance, ding, ding, ding. right? Mm -hmm. So a belt, like my Texas title, is really just a job promotion. Okay. If you reach the top, you become world champ as a reward because you're the best, based on your ability and on how the crowd responds to you. Yes. It's people skills he needs to work on. But is that all you want? No, of course not. I want to be with my family. And you want to start a family? You know, be with my brothers. What do you like to do with your brothers? Just being together. We can do anything. 
How sweet. What about you? Well, I want to be a vet. I want kids. I want my own practice. I want a man who's okay with that. I'm going to keep it in this animal right here. <laughs> so would you be okay with that? Oh, damn right I would. <laughs> We could be one of those modern super couples. <laughs> we have our own ranch. Everyone could come live with us. All my brothers, their family. Uh, yeah. Sure, oh. buddy. <laughs> you know, you have oldest brother syndrome. That's a real thing. That's a real <laughs> thing for sure. <laughs> Maybe. I'm not the oldest, though. But he acts like it. When I was five, my big brother, Jack Jr., he died. How? Oh. oh, my God, Kevin, I'm so sorry. I had no idea. That's all right. And I don't really think about it. That's probably why I take care of everyone. Yeah. That's why he was... So close knit with his other brothers. What was that like? I don't know. It was strange. You said he was five, right? Yeah. It's a core memory right there. Yeah. He just wasn't there to play with one day. Oh, wow. I must have the uh, the second oldest brother syndrome. <laughs> I mean, you kind of inherited being yeah. oldest. What just happened? Oh. She feel sorry for Oh, my God. Way to any woman's heart, trauma. He's probably never been hugged. Do you think his mom ever hugged him once? <laughs> no, that's what nah. I mean. Like, she asks questions, yeah. takes interest in him, comforts him. Like, the look on his face when she hugged him, he was like, what? What's happening? You think dad, his dad ever hugged him and said, it's okay? My dad changed his last name to Von Eric. So when my brother died, people started saying that it was his curse. I know it was all just bad luck. I don't believe in curses, and I don't believe in luck. I think we make our own luck. Harvey Dent. <laughs> mm, you're lucky, Dad. I think we make our own luck. You're lucky then. Nice back and forth. Get in here. Uh-oh. I like the chemistry between him and... I forget that actor's name. Big news for you. I booked Harley Race to come to the... Sp Harley Race? You are going to fight the world heavyweight champion. Your first match will be a non-title fight. But if you put a whooping on it, you will become the number one contender for the world heavyweight championship. I've dreamed of having that belt in this house my whole career. Oh, my God. But the NWA never gave me the chance I deserved. Oh, my word. But they always robbed me at the last minute. So you have to take this opportunity. You have to fill my dreams. Yep. You can be the one to bring it home for us. And then I'm going to wear the belt. <laughs> I am the four-time world's heavyweight champion. There's such a dread to this movie. You have all these guys walking around talking loud about how they are the man. Ric Flair. Ric Flair. Dusty Rhodes, Tommy Rich. Woo! This belt is the only measure of who is the man, and that man is me, the world's heavyweight champion, Harley Race. Now that's Great how you do promo. a promo. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Great promo. <laughs> Damn. Interesting. I guess they could jump promotion to promotion back in the day. Like they didn't just stick within one promotion. Wow, that's cool. They recreated the commercials. I'm assuming. <laughs> I really don't know. <laughs> yeah. NWA World Heavyweight Champ Harley Race is in town to take on Texas champion Kevin Von Erich. I love this. I was going to say this was probably like such a big thing. Now everything's so sensationalized. This is like raw and yeah. gritty. Kevin Von Erich faces his biggest challenge to date. I don't think Zach Efron's 6'2". <laughs> he looks it on screen. The 3,500 fans in the building and everyone watching at home as we are broadcasting in 62 countries around the world. All eyes are on this country. I mean, I really like Zac Efron's performance. Like the, yeah, no, the cadence, great. the delivery. It's more than just his physical build. It's like it's a whole transformation. If he can win, he would become the number one contender. Start for the young man looking to make an impression here tonight. And a devastating shot to the lower back. So this isn't scripted? Nowadays, it is. I'm assuming he's not supposed to win here, mm -hmm. but he's supposed to come close. I'm assuming. Kevin again off the ropes. Oh, he knocks him down. He knocks down the old oak tree. Holly race for the spectacular flank. Shadows of the crowd outside. Oh, and a low blow. Ouch. Oh, and he, he tosses. Ooh. Oh, on the concrete? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Fun. He looks like he's in real pain right now. His body hit the concrete, yeah. Jesus. Oh, that is... Was that planned? I don't think... I think, at least from what I understand with wrestling, like, the outcome is scripted, but the wrestlers dictate kind of what goes on, on in the ring, mm. and then they can make up things on the fly depending on, like, crowd reaction. Got it. Seven. 
Oh, those flares on screen that look like blood. Wow, what a cool tracking shot from the ground up. Ouch. But see, now he has the crowd on his side. Yeah. So even if he loses, he's still... As Race gets him into yet another suplex. But Kevin spins out. Oh! He does not look happy, man. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, oh disqualified. shit. Uh -huh. But he gets to keep the belt. See? Still? Well, yeah, if you lose by disqualification, you don't lose the belt. And the winner by disqualification, Dude. Kevin this is dirty. Okay, yeah, this is not scripted. <laughs> yeah. I think it is. Really? Yeah. Harley Race, I dare you. I mean, that's part of the greatness of this, right? Is to buy into the believability. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? yeah. yeah. Pretty sure it's good. <laughs> but you're still rooting for them, you know? You coward. Afraid I was going to be you. So. Oh, his promo skills. You Harley Race. Oh. There we go. We showed you what we're made of. Oh. You are the past, my friend. We're the future of this sport, so you keep on running. Damn, we're really into this. Whether you're man enough to stop back through Dallas, or if we have to chase you down in Missouri. He's great. Yeah, it's all one take. You anywhere, anytime, for a fair shot at that NWA World Heavyweight title. Whew. Oh, I can't fight that. Those silent, those yeah. cuts just like snap you into the rawness of it. You were long getting up. Jesus. Yeah, I've just never hit the floor that hard before. You got to take it and get up. But, buddy. Wow, what a hard ass. He wasn't supposed to throw me out the ring. See? Caught me off guard. There was nothing I could do. I physically, I just couldn't move. This is how they test you. Wow. No empowerment at all. Did I do enough to get my rematch? Of course you did. We'll see. Oh, my gosh. Those reps will use any excuse they can to screw us over. But I'll chase them. David. Damn. Great on the mic, son. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. We'll get you out on the road, get you some more exposure. Oh my God. It's amazing these brothers still support each other so much when the dad pissed them against them, each other. I think it's because they're aware of what the father's trying to do. But you were incredible out there. Why didn't you let me talk? Oof. Oh no. Well, you didn't. You should have let me talk. Yeah, I'm sorry, Kev. I thought I was helping. It's heartbreaking. Hey, smile, man. You just beat the world heavyweight champion out there. All he wants to do is make his dad proud, though. So whenever there's like this crowd celebration, there's a constant dreariness. Oh, here's the the Olympian. Who's this guy, Jeremy Renner? No. <laughs> it's the bear guy, right? Oh, is I've never seen Shameless. He's from Shameless, too. What's his name? Jeremy I Allen? I have no idea. I think it's Jeremy Allen. Fascinating. This is the first time we're seeing him, though, right? Yeah. You were helping fill in uh -oh. so much context. Uh -oh. <laughs> what happened here? In my judgment, what we are doing is preserving. Oh, did they cancel the Olympics? The principles and the quality of the Olympics, not Why? destroying it. It is absolutely imperative. I don't know what they're doing. That we and other nations who believe in freedom and who believe in human rights, let our voices be heard. Oh, man. I think that's what they did. And I hope the recognition of a grateful nation will at least partially make up for the sacrifice that you'll have to make this summer in not going to Moscow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, his whole thing he's been working for, gone. It's hard to preserve that opportunity for the next one. Well, it's like, what, four years then? Yeah. He might probably aged out at that point, you'd think? Yeah. I mean, people work their whole lives just for that. And yeah. For like, and to try to get the gold and it's all they'll be able to have. The family curse. Now he's got to go into wrestling. That's the real curse for him. Yeah, they, they, what, they must have shot this on film because it looks like a 70s movie. Oh. Hey, Harry. The mom is so quiet and meek. I mean, she's in a household of a bunch of men who probably don't give a shit about her opinion. Sorry, He's so okay. tall. Oh, man, the first thing he says is, I'm sorry, Pop. Hey, boy. Hey, I mean, he cares about them in his own weird way. Yeah. It's complicated. Did you ever play football with your dad? No. They didn't even play catch. You didn't even play catch? No. I played football with my dad. <laughs> we watched movies. <laughs> oh, poor 
Poor Mikey. You gotta lay out for that. Come on, son. Hi. These bonding moments are so important for this story. Yeah. But you also see the little cracks in the bonding moments. Coach Royal called me from UT. He said, what? Do you see him? Hey, Pam, I can pour you some more, more lemonade or something. <laughs> sure. Is he flirting with her? <laughs> you keep a hold of her, son. She's a good one. You put that down, someone else will pick it up. It's the first, oh, first positive thing my dad said to me my whole life. <laughs> I'm going to marry her right now. Hey, Kay, you see all the new camera angles? They're cool, right? We're talking about wrestling, not camera angles. Brother fought the world champion on national TV. Who gives a damn about camera angles? Uh, those are very important. I don't want to miss a body slam, okay? Hey, what do you play? Viola, violin, piano. Musical like his father. Really? Dad's musical? <laughs> when I first met your father, he was classically trained on the clarinet. What? <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> he gave it up to play football at Southern Methodist. Mom well, decided there was no future in music. I chose sport, and I was right. Huh. Used to play the most beautiful pieces for me when we first dated. Oh, Look wow. how sad she is. I know. She misses who he was, what they had. We ha we actually have a gig. Michael, that's great. When? Well, it's tonight at UT Dallas. Oh, you're too young. Kev went on national tour at 17. That was for work. Your mom said no. Now that's the end of it. What? I mean, we could take him. I don't care. We could make him play the gag and we'll leave right after. Dude, these brothers are so <laughs> kind. <laughs> the answer is no. <laughs> They're so supportive. I know. Got to stick uh, together. Such kinship. When you grow up, grow up that close, you really got to. Look how close my brother and I are. He took the fall for a lot of shit I did. <laughs> <laughs> They're pushing it so they didn't make a noise. <laughs> Smart. Aww. Pam, you're the cool girl. You're one of the boys now, Pam. The dad's going to be standing right there. <laughs> yeah. Somehow he's going to blame Kevin for all this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at him. He's a superstar. Seems like this is who the dad really wanted to be. Yeah. And that's why he throws shade his way. Oh, this is such like wonderfully orchestrated, like psychologically orchestrated. He takes out any, any of his sons who have a, a mirror he doesn't want to face. He takes yeah. it out on them. Have to acknowledge his own failures. Exactly. Gonna light up the sky. Let me take some notes on good parenting. <laughs> this is how I make my son a superstar. Amazing. <laughs> Shame them into <laughs> success. <laughs> I love like Efron's subtleties. He's very good in this. Oh. Uh oh. Iron Claw time, baby. Oh, <laughs> my God. Please don't. Call it you're, the Iron Claw. I, you're going to call it that for the rest of your life. I know it. <laughs> Dad's going to show up. You think? Yeah. You're doing it wrong, Kevin. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you how it's done. <laughs> Get your brother in here. He'll show you how to do it. <laughs> wow. It's like watching the electric company, but with sexy. <laughs> He, did he just ask her, have you ever? I'm assuming she has and he hasn't. What? Why? Why would that be a problem? Ooh, 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 ooh. No, 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 no. What is it then? Ooh. Well, oh. I just, uh. It's the electric company. <laughs> never. Not never. Never. But oh, never. What's, uh, what? You sweet thing. Wow, you just say all the right things to make yourself attract. That's why you're so buff. <laughs> And it's over. Yeah. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, you know what scene this is. <laughs> we can't show. What? They're not doing nothing. It, it's it was their enough. Faces. It was enough. I don't think so. I know how YouTube works. I don't think so. He's pissed. They gave it to Ric Flair. Hey, Ric Flair is a star, though. He. Uh oh. Oof. He is scary. I know. I'm scared of him. <laughs> He's who I thought the dad in Selena was going to be like. <laughs> God, what is he doing? I think he's farming. There's just so much anguish in his performance. He's going to blame his kids. You're not good enough. AKA, he's not good enough. I'm scared for them. Yeah, all right. Scary. Yes, sir. I don't know if you've been thinking about your future. <gasps> but you should think about wrestling. No. Now, I wouldn't wish wrestling on any of you. 
What? I only wrestled to provide for y'all. I always hoped you boys would choose another profession. What? You sure about that? <laughs> but the Olympics has been taken from you. The way professional football was taken from me. Takes out everything on them. The world keeps taken from us. Oh, boy. I want to fight back. He does not look happy about this. Because he knows what this means for his other brother. I want you to join your brothers in the ring. Yes, sir. I told you. Glad to hear it, son. He looks like he's about to cry. See, he, he thinks that Kevin can't do it, so now he's going to put... Mm. Do you see? That's exactly what he's doing there. That was that was his thought process there, I guarantee it. Well, if I, Kevin can't do it, then I'll go on to someone else. Now it's trip on some acid. Why is uh, Kevin barefoot? It's his style. I don't like it. Nice, good finesse there. Great work. Jeez. Can you do that? Sure. <laughs> do it now. Show everyone. <laughs> wow, they're like crucifying. It's a strat match. No, 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 no. Where's the dad? Oh! Oh, God. They would, like, really hurt each other then, huh? I mean, I'm sure he bladed himself. You cut yourself. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen The Wrestler with Mickey work. <laughs> <laughs> All my understanding of wrestling is from other movies about wrestling. I've never seen that movie. <laughs> oh, wow. All my understanding about wrestling comes from watching wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Crowd was electrified. He's gonna be world See? heavyweight champion one day. He's moved on from Kevin to Carrie now. Yeah, but this is pressure. You feel he's, that? Ah, you feel that? Ah, that's pressure. But David's not feeling his actual. He's not pursuing his actual dreams. That's why he's losing himself to having fun. And nothing but lie, bully, and cheat your way to victory. Yeah. Not David, the Olympic one. And they have him and the mic. That's real good. He's like the manager, like the voice, while the other ones are the muscle. To the wrestling federation that our father built with his own two hands. The hands that were passed down to us. The hands that were delivered the iron claw to you. It's about, it's about fulfilling the father's legacy. What about their own identity? They don't have it. I don't think any of them outside Mikey, the youngest, have their own like- Identity? Identities. And the challengers from Denton, Texas, Kevin, Harry, and David Von Erich. Carrie's not pursuing his dreams at all, so I- He's like losing himself to like partying and stuff. Okay, but David and Kevin don't even know what their own dreams are. These elbows is a man. I think Kevin probably is the only one who really wanted this, you know? Yeah, he just lacks showmanship. Yeah, and now he's going to lose it because his father thinks he's not good enough. Off the ropes with a cross buddy. Terry Gordy catches him. What's he going to do with him? Here comes. Ooh. Terry falls on Gordy, and that's it. That's New champs. They're new champs. How exciting for them. I don't think this one was going to last, but good for them. Yeah. We're only halfway through the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Dad immediately jumps in the ring with them. Tonight you saw the strength and resilience of my family. Oh, Mikey's in there too. We're sending a message to Sam Muchnick and every other territory out there in the NWA. WCCW is the best in the business. Ooh. The Von Air are the best in the business. Of how it's, we've become the camera that he's talking to. Yeah. Because I will make it my life's work to see to it that David Von Eric will be the next NWA what? World Look at Heavyweight him. Champion. Wow. Look at Kevin and Carrie. They're like, what? And then each and every one of my sons, starting with Kevin, then Carrie, then Mike. Oh, wow. All one day will lift that world heavyweight title belt because the Von Erics are and will forever be Jesus. the greatest family in the history of wrestling. The hearts are, by the way. It's the heart family. <laughs> sure he doesn't mean me first. Uh-oh. How does he make mistakes like that? Yep, he knows. Is there a problem? Oh, she. <sighs> no, sir. No, sir. And like I said, Kevin's probably the only one who actually really wants this. I mean, yeah, he admitted he did. Oh, he, he thinks he's got to bulk up now. Is that what's happening? Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, he knows he's doing it. I think they're uh, all doing it. They're all, all their paths are crossing. Oh, with their dads. Uh, I love all that overlapping. Yeah. yeah. I've got good news. We are finally getting a world heavyweight title shot with Ric Flair. Woo! And they want it to be you, David. Don't look to your brother. This is your time. You've been chosen. You earned it. You'll go on the road and feud with Flair in every territory in America over the next six oh months. Oh, boy. Then you'll go to Japan. You can't be world champion unless you win over Japan. Then you'll fight with Flair at Parade of Champions in May at Texas Stadium. How hollow. Are you up for it? Of course I am. Love you, Pop. It trains him like a military unit. I know. I've waited my whole life to have that belt. Oh! We've had a couple of setbacks, but I can feel it. If you perform, the title will be ours. Oh, man. And look at them in the back. Oh, he was the one who always wanted it. Now, this wouldn't be happening without the two of you. You've made your brother better, and your collective effort has pushed him to the top. Keep it up out there. Oh, oh, I feel so bad break. for him. Yeah, I feel so bad for him. No one trains harder than him. Mm -hmm. And just look at him. I know. You know? <laughs> So maybe this is a really good job at handling time span. <laughs> uh -huh. We didn't have this moment at our wedding because you were in the hospital. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the director probably told Zach Efron, you got to dial back the dancing. We know you can really move. Why can he really move? We know you can really move. Why? Because he's Zac Efron's like a professional dancer. From where? Juilliard? I don't know. High School Musical? Hairspray? Life? Is High School Musical professional dancing? Yes. I've seen the commercials. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's happening? That's not a good sign. I was like, what is happening? Too much already? It's early. <coughs> oh, what's if his dad? His dad's... Who is it? Shit, brother. Oh, no. You're right. It's yeah, Gary. Yeah. Oh, David. No, we got just some stomach cramps. Oh, you oh, think he's like doing fuck. too money? <gasps> it's blood. He's coughing up blood. Yeah. Oh, shit. He must be doing too much stuff. You need to see a doctor. No, I'm fine. Oh, just the limit they're being pushed to. Maybe you're pushing too hard. You think it's going to slow down when you become world champion? I'm fine, Kev. Seriously, I'm just sick. I don't know, buddy. I don't, I, I don't, I don't, don't look too good. I don't go to Japan next week. <gasps> it, Japan's already next week? Pressure is on. Hey, Dave. I just want to say, I didn't take it so well. You jumped me in. Oh, at least he's honest. I understand. Man, you're not going to flush that? I, that's all I'm thinking <laughs> of, too. I'm like, they really focus it right on that shot right there. You know it's got a stake in there, too. <laughs> I just love being out there with you guys. Aw. It's the only thing that matters to me. Look at you, man. Married two hours and already losing your competitive edge. <laughs> He's just being honest. I'll be pretty happy to focus on my family, though. Turns out this is a shotgun win. Oh. God damn it, Kev. Oh, man, that makes me so happy. Grandpa's going to make the kid go into wrestling. <laughs> Second it's born. <laughs> yeah. Start lifting those weights, baby. <laughs> no, I'm good. Let's get, let's get out of here. Will life on the farm is kind of laid back. The film's greatest mystery. Did, Did they, they flush, flush the, the toilet? toilet? <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine going in after the wall? Yeah. <laughs> They're a great couple. <laughs> Reminds me of a couple I knew once. Once. We could take advantage of the situation. No boys in the house. Leave our son's wedding. And I don't have to worry about you getting me pregnant anymore. Big stud. <laughs> wow. They're happy. They like each other still. It's an A24 movie. I mean, something terrible is what uh, to happen. 100%. <laughs> 100%. I'm waiting for that shoe to drop, man. <laughs> I know a little uh, the story of the family, so I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop here. I feel like this is the crescendo of happiness for them. It's the midpoint of the movie. Yeah. They'll never be happy again after this moment. <laughs> What's this? Pop, what is it? David. What happened? What? He died in his hotel <gasps> room in Japan. Oh, shit. A ruptured intestine. Oh, no. How does that happen? 
So b- before so he the had match? To have had, yeah, he had to have had that ruptured. Oh, it's a postcard from Japan. Probably from David. I mean, obviously. What a stupid thing to say. Kev, I miss you, brother. You gotta come with me next time. It's wild over here. Oh, that's so sad. Someone asked me for an autograph today because they thought I was you. Aww. It made me very happy. I'll probably be home by the time you get this, so this is stupid, but... Jeez. All those people came out. See you soon. Yeah, as much as there was, like, competition, they just loved each other so much. And it was, like, the healthy competition, you know? And David always cared to, like, protect his feelings. Yeah. I'm here if you want to talk. Mm, good. Probably should talk, Betty. It's not a family that talks. I know. That's why you probably should do it. But we cannot let this tragedy define us. See the fireflies in the background? Beautiful shot. Our greatness will be measured by our response to adversity. Sure. Now, David's title match against Ric Flair at Parade of Champions is a moment of a lifetime. Mm. We still have a chance to bring the World Heavyweight Championship home if one of you will step up and oh. wrestle in his place. Wow. Oh my God. This is a real guy. <laughs> Everything we have ever worked for in the ring is riding on this moment. I can do it, Dad. I can do it, too. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. I'll do it. I'm ready. Hey. No. No, guys, don't. You don't have to. It's my match. No, I deserve it, too. Boys. Guys. It's a tough decision. You are the oldest, Kev, but Carrie's been getting the most heat lately. We're going to flip a coin. Oh, my word. It's the only fair way to decide. He's I, such an asshole. He's the worst. <laughs> he's, the, he's the worst. Tails for Kevin. Two side of tail coin. <laughs> he's going to lie. Oh, poor Kevin. Like, this dad is, like, destroying the family internally, yeah. and the only thing that keeps to get tethered together is the, the love the brothers yeah. have for each other. I won. Dad's gonna run up and grab that belt right from his hands. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I didn't know you were still here. I'm about to head home. How you doing? I'm having trouble coming down. Uh-huh. I can't believe it's finally in our family. Yeah. It doesn't and feel as rewarding say, as they thought. Doesn't feel those holes, huh? You know what? I think I'm going to go for a ride or something. Yeah, be careful. <laughs> I don't think you should do that. Hey, Kara, you were great today. Thank you. They fight in Japan. They travel all over, but Japan is like... Uh, but they were in Japan and they got back home today? No. That's not how flights work, right? I know. That's what I was confused by this. <laughs> Man, it's just like you do all that sack. Your whole life has revolved around this shit. Finally get it. And it's like nothing. Something terrible is going to happen. Yep. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure something terrible is about to happen. I'm pretty sure something terrible is about to happen, Greg. <laughs> oh, no. Not even wearing a helmet. It seems like it did it intentionally. Yeah, 100%, right? Well, he mentioned, he said, I'm having trouble coming down from the high. Maybe he felt like this is the best it's going to get for him. Did he lose a leg or something? Oh, but he's he, he doing lots of drugs. Oh, okay. That's a faster way to get into your system, I guess. Yeah, no, this family's falling apart. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. <gasps> Dead. Yeah, okay. I knew he got into a wreck, but I didn't know he lost his foot. Is everything correct? I'm just so worried about this baby. Me too. Actually, his last name will be Atkinson. That's my birth name. Oh... Yeah, I was supposed to, I'd be superstitious oh, yeah, as shit yeah, too, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And you know, she was like, yep, change yeah, that yeah. name, change that name. Yeah. She didn't even bat an eye. She's worried about a family curse, you know. Are you sure you want to do that? I just don't feel safer for him, I think. Kev, yeah, you know it's got nothing to do with the name. I think it does. <laughs> I mean, the belief and energy of the curse. Yep, stand Mikey's oh, here. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They're making Mikey do it now. Twist it again. Make it mean something. Headlock. Oh, man. The pressure on this guy. Come on, goddammit. Switch your feet. Don't become your dad, man. There it is. It's fine, Mike. You're doing fine. Just keep going. Circle up. It's ready for this match. Oh, I... This poor family. I'm so nervous. They were, like, so celebrated but miserable. This is what happens when you don't go to therapy. Oh, 
whole no, Mikey. It's just like a snowball effect. These last 20, ever since the death of David, it's just been like. Well, I told you that wedding was the last happy moment. Yeah. They made it pretty clear when they were filming it. I was like, this is the last time we're going to see them all be happy together. We completed the surgery as planned. Oh, no. We repaired the shoulder, okay. but it was trickier than we anticipated. Great. Mike's temperature skyrocketed. Oh, no. We worked really hard to bring it down, but it was close to 107 for almost two hours. Whoa. I'm sorry to say that Mike is in a coma. What the f This is insane. All we can do now is wait and pray he pulls through. I'm very sorry. This all really happened? Yeah. Why does it just keep happening? Stay with me, okay? But it keeps happening. It's taken over. Mm. He shouldn't have even been in the ring. Oh, he's right. It's not your fault. If you had to blame someone, you blame your father. <gasps> I mean, she's Speaking right. Truth. But no, what could you do, Kevin? There's no getting through to that man. Oh my gosh. Just take him until your mom gets here. I gotta go. So really interesting. Like the the dread from the very beginning has been like this curse that's been like slowly growing over yeah. this whole like looming over the whole movie. See, now it's infecting his own family. We're all just so excited that Mike pulled through. Shows how much of a fighter he is. Oh, no. After losing David, it's just it's too much to think that we almost lost Mike, too. The brain damage, yeah. He's had to have had some a severe brain injury. And... I'm moved that my whole family is here with me through everything. This is so sad. So what's the time frame for your return to the ring, Mike? What? I know I'll be back soon. Yeah, soon. Please. He's going to be back in the ring in no time. No. It's weird how he's now become this a good speaker. Yeah. Well, remember, he takes on the personalities of those older brother syndrome. Yeah. Who's in the ring? With him? Yeah. I'm assuming just some random. Oh, uh, it's happening, man. doesn't have his brothers with him. He's all alone. And that's what kept him together, too. That's all he cared about. Yeah. Remember he said, I just want to be with my brothers. You notice we're not focused on the dad as much. We're focused on him way more now, too. Yeah. Seems like it's been his story, really, the whole time. Right. <clears throat> and now his whole life is done for as well, you know? That's the house I grew up in. I painted that. Really? I'm scared, Mom. All the good memories are becoming distant. Mm -hmm. Not David. Everybody wants me to be David, but can't replace him. Really? Mm. Probably doesn't even know how to tune it anymore. <sighs> that is so sad. Please don't. Oh my I know, god. I know, I know, I know. We just thought it at the same time. Oh, oh my, my god. god, you gotta be kidding me. My heart just feels so empty right now. Got a fever. Is he trying to get back in the ring too? Yeah. Oh. This is all they know. I mean, dude, there's only so much you can do. I see how much pain you're in. We can't rush this. It's gonna take time, Carrie. I'm ready. Yeah. Maybe this is God trying to tell you to slow down. Maybe you should do something else with your life. What? Oh boy. Don't. Come on out! Come on out! We can't just hide this, Carrie! You want back in? Then get up! Get up! Oh, he's really Oh. He's breaking my heart, man. I'm sorry if I hurt you. I'm going to a better place. This is a goodbye letter. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. We should go. I can't put it on. Maybe she doesn't allow herself to cry. Honey, listen to me. People here love you. All right? They don't care. We all love you. You think the dad feels anything at all? I know. We haven't seen him in a while, huh? That's what I'm saying. Lay to rest our son, Michael, Brett, 
Adkison. Oh, wow. My sweet. She didn't say his last, the Von Eric. Are you coming home tonight? I don't know. I'm not sure. The real curse is if you end up being like your dad. Yeah, yeah. That's the real curse, man. I know how painful this is. I'm trying to be patient. But this, this doesn't work for me. So just come home. <laughs> All right, just be with us. Please, man. Please. I don't want you guys to catch up. Kevin, you can't be serious. I'm sorry. I, I don't I, I don't blame him. It's like this ring is a prison. Yeah. Ever since I was a child, people said my family was cursed. It never seemed to worry my father. He said if we were the toughest, the strongest, the most successful. The most successful, the absolute, the absolute best. Oh, fast. That generational trauma. I believed him. We all did. Followed their father's instructions. And things got worse. It is so hard to be humble. When you're looking like Ric Flair. The difference between me and a lot of these so-called big time stars is that I'm custom made. It's like he's put all his pain into his body. Mm -hmm. Kevin, your daddy got together with the powers that be and ordered me back down here to death. But nothing happened in second rate sports community. Ooh. Oh my goodness, a nothing happening. The toughest wrestler alive today. I have bled and sweat for this title. And no daddy's boy is going to take that from me. This is professional wrestling. Damn. If you're a man, you take the ups and downs. If you're a real man, you never go down. You just stay up. This movie does a really good job at getting you invested into the wrestling storyline. <laughs> like it's something very real, <laughs> you know? And I can go through Kevin Von Erich or any Von Erich the worst day of my life. Ric Flair is one of the greatest superstars to ever exist. 1986. Very problematic in real life, but... And here comes Kevin. A meteoric rise these last few months to become the number one contender for the NWA World Heavyweight title. No brothers behind him. Yeah. Is that a famous walk of his or something? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the uh, woo, obviously. <laughs> oh. Ouch. Oh, the. Jeez. Break the hold, man. Come on, can't break the hold. Come Bro, you're gonna get disqualified. NWA World Heavyweight Champion, Ric Flair. Kevin Von Erich has been disqualified. Oh man, you were crazy. <laughs> you were crazy. You were one. I always thought you were a little soft, but. Baby, you got it. Let's get a drink. Oh, I'm, I'm good. Change your mind, let me know. Yeah, I'm a holiday. <laughs> this guy's crazy. <laughs> is he? He's like, known to be flares. crazy? Yeah, yeah, got a crazy personal life. <laughs> Wrestlers, man, back in the day. I'm sure to this day, even just on the road, like, most of the time. Right around this time, we've got, like, Hulk Hogan, Ric Flair. Like, wrestling was really popping. We were becoming, like, superstars, you know? <laughs> Damn, he could have had it if he just didn't hold on, huh? Damn, how long has he been avoiding the family? His family. I know. Well, remember, he was, like, so concerned. Oh, no. Wait, no. She grew up. It's right. Hi. How you doing? How was your day? Two boys. I'm assuming, yeah, he had more kids. We just did a time jump, I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, boys, come set up for dinner. He give up wrestling? I hope so. Me too. Hey, Mom. Hey, Mom. Can you be excused? I have one more piece of broccoli. Get out of here. Their chairs have rollers on them, Greg. Genius. I know. <laughs> I can roll around the house with my food. So what did you decide, boss? I think we need to cut down again to one show. Oh, no. Two still too many. We can get the guys touring during the week. My love. Sorry. <laughs> so invested in it. 
Bring him home for a Saturday night. That sounds painful, but smart. The numbers just haven't been there since Carrie went to the WWF. Carrie went to the WWF? Jerry called again this morning. It's a good offer. We should think about it. Who's Jerry? I'm assuming the only Jerry I know is Jerry Lawler, who works for WWF. Carrie's wrestling again with one leg. We have an offer. He wants to buy us out. I didn't give you the company so you could turn around and sell it. But if it ain't making money. Think about my family. I'm almost broke. We need a house. If you sell, you can forget about stepping through these doors again. I've been through the books. It doesn't add up. Yep. I didn't make nearly what it says I did. Oh! I did what was right all along. You think living here was a free ride? One, two, three, yes! Atta boy, Carrie. Look at your uncle, boys. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Get out of there. Take your kids. Get out of there, man. Such hollow victories. What's going on? Man. See, hey, Hi. man. Where's baby? Where's baby? Sleep. Yeah. Good. Because some drama is about to go down. You know some drama is about to happen. It's going to be an awkward family dinner. <laughs> he looks strong, son. WWF Intercontinental Champion. Second biggest title in wrestling since your brother ruined our promotion. <gasps> Dad, I got you on... I got you something for Christmas, and I, I, I don't no. want to wait. I don't want to give it to you. See, you think I got a big mouth, but this would be a very interesting family dinner if I was there. <laughs> that's for you. Uh. Oh, that's a, a Smith & Wesson 357. It's beautiful, son. No, don't do that. Don't do that. What are you doing? You got to shoot that. I don't want to shoot it, Carrie. Well, why the f*** not? Watch it, son. Just settle down, and we'll have a nice dinner. One is the dad's validation. Yeah. But there's so much blame. There's so much anger towards him that they haven't got off their chest. I see your old tag team partner, Hellwig's Holden. That guy's got nothing on you, never has. So, so. He's going to snap. <laughs> He's already snapped a little bit. Uh -huh. He's going to really snap. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is all one shot. It's boring the hell out of me. It's boring the hell out of you? It's worrying the oh. hell out of me. That gun is worrying me. <laughs> I know. Like, uh, Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. Been better. I don't think so. Oh, no. What is this call? I don't know. I'm so scared. Where are you? Uh, I'm in some hotel in Dallas. Okay. Why didn't you go home? You okay? No, Carrie, please. Don't do this to me. Oh, I'm scared. I'm out of control. You gotta get some help. I'm in pain all the time. I'm f***ing deformed. It takes too much to hide it. What does it show in the ring? They're not giving me a new contract. <sighs> they don't want me anymore. Well, I, I got I got nowhere to go. I got no one. Well, where's Tonya? Ain't that what nothing? I... Just some girl at Brown. I need someone. No, I need family. Oh. Come here. Stay with us. No, I can't. I can't let your boy see me like this. Well, then let's get breakfast somewhere. Or I'll meet me home. Mom can make his pancakes. I think he just wants to see you, man. No, I want her on the end. Don't say that, man. I'm f***ing cursed. I want to die. How are you going to say that to me after everything? It's in me now. It's got a hold of me. Kiri. There you go. Just tell me where you are. Yeah. There you go. Go get him. And I'll come and get you. Oh, uh, no. No. He said, is that a hotel, right? In, In Dallas. Dallas. Start looking for him, man. Please, God. Please, Carrie, don't do this to us. Dad, hey, I just talked to Carrie. He's in a pretty bad state. What is the deck going to say? I'm going to come out there. We need to figure out how to help him, okay? You boys need to work it out between yourselves. Just look out for him. Okay, Dad? I'll be there as soon as I can. I'm so nervous something happened. Oh, no. I please tell me he's just shooting the gun. Please tell me he's just shooting the gun. Oh shit! No, no, Carrie. Oh my god! I told you to look out for him. No, you didn't take care of him. You didn't take care of any of them. He called you, and you didn't help him. Oh, you oh. son of a bitch! <laughs> Oh no. Let him go, man. Let him go. There ain't oh no god. way. There oh ain't no god. way. Oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. No <sighs> oh. I carry his brother. That gun. I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. He's completely alone now. Every brother's gone. I don't know what's on the other side, but I can't be here anymore. Tonight I walk with my brothers. Aww. That's really tragic. Oh, are we getting like a. Oh, he's got his feet again. 
<laughs> is he imagining this is what it's like for his brother? I hope so. Hey, brothers! Here he is. Don't you see David wearing the belt? Yeah. Hey, Mikey. <laughs> <laughs> World champion of the afterlife, huh? Hey, where's Jack Jr.? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. You must be my oldest brother, Jackie. So nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Thanks, Kevin. No, I'd love for you to stay on wrestling, if you want. Sell the company. Yeah. I can use the extra work. Just so you know, your dad called me out to his ranch. Tried to intimidate me out of buying this from you. Oh my gosh. <sighs> uh, he never stops. Glad it didn't work. Yeah. All of his kids are basically dead, and he ain't stopping. That's insanity. What a cruel man. What are you doing? Painting. Oh, he's painting again. What's for dinner? I didn't make anything. I'm not hungry. I'm not hungry. She gave up painting for him, and now she's taking it back. I love that. I'm yeah. not hungry. Pregnant again? Jeez. <sighs> Can't afford taking care of my two babies. <laughs> Let's get a third one. We <laughs> want pancakes. Mm -hmm. How about a good morning? Good morning. Good morning. Lily Thomas? What's this woman's name? I can't remember this actress' name is. I have no idea. They have a ranch, oh, though, now? Yeah. He literally has no one. He's got his kids now who are brothers. You okay, Dad? I'm sorry, boys. You shouldn't see me like this. Man doesn't cry. It's okay, Dad. You can cry. Everyone cries. <laughs> you cry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Break that generational trauma. <laughs> Do you think you know why you're sad? I guess it's because I used to be a brother. Oh. And uh, now I'm not a brother anymore. Oh, well, we'll be your brothers, Dad. <laughs> we'll be your brothers. Oh, thank you, boys. Thank you. Thank you. Sass boo, I've seen a very long time. <laughs> Sass fucking boo. <laughs> I hate wrestling. <laughs> Wrestling's the problem. <laughs> I've got so much snot on my nose right now. <laughs> we have no paper towels back here. Oh, no. There's no tissues. There's tissues. There's paper. T there's toilet paper. There's toilet paper. Yeah. I'll get it once it cuts the credits. Whoa! Wow! Oh, Aww. they did it. They did it. They <laughs> did it. Thirteen baby. grandchildren. I. Holy shit! <sighs> but your family curse. I would never throw a baby that high. <laughs> <I don't laughs> <know>. Good point. <laughs> Jeez. What about the dad? What about him? I don't care. <laughs> Asshole. Damn, that guy was amazing. He was great. <laughs> So subtle. Jeremy, Jeremy Allen, Allen yeah, you got that name right. Yeah. Harris Dickinson. I don't know who these people are. Mara Tierney. I've seen her in like so many things I can't name it. This whole cast was really good. I know. Yes, we're going to give him credit for it before <laughs> him. <laughs> <laughs> Lily Allen is her name? James. Lily God James. damn, I could not pull it. Yeah, shit. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. What movie? Um, Go get tissue.
<laughs> yeah, but first a word from our sponsors. All right, Reject Nation. So today I want to share something with you that has been a wonderful addition to my health and fitness journey that I discovered during the holidays, and that is Liquid IV's hydration multiplier. I'm down to my very last packet, and I'm freaking out, but it's okay. I got more in the mail. Now, a lot of you have been so kind to notice how I've been working on my physical health. Thank you for all the compliments. And one thing I learned is that proper hydration is absolutely crucial, especially post-workout and pre-filming after post-workout. And my wife actually introduced me to this product, which is perfect because we not only care about quality, but a good taste and quality product. Whether it's after a sweaty workout or just after, you know, a good night out, you know what I'm saying? Efficient hydration and replenishing electrolytes is key. You just feel better and it tastes fantastic. I can't emphasize that enough. Another thing that I'm always on the lookout for too is products that have zero sugar or zero sugar added because that's one of my main dietary restrictions throughout the week. And they of course got products that fit that description that also taste good too. So yes, thank you so much. So Liquid IV's hydration multiplier is in summary is they are a non-GMO electrolyte drink that delivers hydration into your bloodstream faster and more efficient than water alone. Because sometimes drinking a whole gallon is not always efficient, but in fact, it can provide the same hydration as drinking two to three bottles of water. I'm also big on efficiency. Plus it's packed with a lot of essential vitamins and we know vitamins are good for the body. It's vegan, soy free, gluten free, and dairy free. You can customize the water amount to your taste. Again, perfect for post night recovery, traveling, or just having a big night out. You know what I mean? No, I won't. So if you want to boost your support for the channel and boost your hydration game, go to liquidiv.com and use promo code rejects at checkout. That's liquidiv.com promo code rejects. And remember, liquid IV, it's not a real IV, but it sure feels like it. So stay hydrated, stay healthy, and let's keep crushing those health and fitness goals together in the year 2024. Hello there, esteemed viewer of The Real Rejects. I, Greg Alba, language connoisseur and worldly gentleman, am here to bestow upon you the secrets of Babbel. Babbel is an engaging language learning app designed for real-life conversations, offering quick 10-minute lessons tailored by linguistic experts to effectively teach you a new language. Its conversation-based approach, enhanced with speech recognition technology, makes Babbel worth trying for anyone looking to learn at their own pace, anytime, anywhere. My dear friends, in this age of monolingual well, mundanity, mund mundanity, mundanity. Mundanity. Babel is our beacon of hope. Crafted by an army of over 150 language experts, their lessons are like linguistic caviar. Rich, refined, and oh so satisfying. Personal tale of triumph. I once whispered sweet nothings in Spanish, or for the layman, Espanol, to my wife, courtesy of Babel. Her reaction, well, I'll tell you, she was utterly bewitched. Greg, you silver-tongued devil. No paraphrase. She exclaimed such vocabulary as I bask in the glory of my perfect pronunciation. But Babel isn't just about learning words. It's about embracing the art of conversation with podcasts, live classes, and a veritable smorgasbord of interactive lessons. I know the words I'm saying. And their speech recognition? It's like having a personal language butler. Ensuring every syllable is impeccably crisp. Now brace yourselves for an offer of monumental proportions. Here's a special limited, limited, time. limited time. Deal for our viewers and listeners to get you started right now. Get 55% off your Babbel subscription. But again, only for our viewers at babbel.com slash rejects. 55% off at babbel.com slash rejects. Spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash rejects. Rules and restrictions. May apply. Join me, the Greg Alban, the adventure of language mastery at Babel. We shall not just learn no, nay, we shall conquer the world of communication. Or as they say in Spanish, comunicación. <laughs> We're done with this ad. Uh, if you guys listen to us on Apple and Spotify, <laughs> I <laughs> Greg is crying. <laughs> so sad. I was like, okay, that was a sad scene early on. Uh, I remember what the first one was that I cried, and then and I was like, I think it's done. All right. <laughs> think I got it. <laughs> oh, shit. This <laughs> is getting way sadder. Uh, we've been off frame this whole time. He's sure left the time. Whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll, we know. we'll do it. All right. I need to get my thoughts composed. They say crying is good for you. Oh, that ending with the boys. We cry all the time. Oh, I'm shit. Like, I was like, you boys are going to be great psychologists. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to change We're the millennium be wrestlers. Of, of men forever <laughs> to allow yourselves to cry. So I think I think we are in a day and age now where, it, you know, like when a woman cries, it's like, ah, a woman crying. You know, and I think it's, it's becoming, if anything, I sometimes I see comments that can be like negative if myself or Juan are crying, but I think it's. You know, but once in a while we get comments or I see tweets or people are like, hey, you make me feel comfortable and okay to cry. And I think we're in a day and age where more men are feeling more comfortable to cry. Right. 
So that was a touching ass scene at the end, especially seeing in the boy. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, it's getting to me again. <laughs> I got to get through the well, talking it, points. That could have gone through either way with uh, him continuing his father's behavior. Yeah. And his kids made sure that that didn't happen, you know? Yeah. All right, before we look up facts about this movie, um, <laughs> yeah, I brought Olivia on because, I mean, clearly, if you guys watch the reaction, she would help fill in some context of (laughs) things that i like didn't understand with wrestling that but i think even if uh this is clearly a movie that even if you don't follow wrestling you can easily yeah like i enjoy watching episodes of the dark side of the ring more than i do watching actual wrestling (laughs) it's like it's a documentary and it's really dark and i love the story behind it you love the trauma i mean mean, a lot of people do there's a lot of seasons there's a lot of episodes for a reason (laughs) because people love that it's they're good story they tell it it's very compelling dark shit that you're you're watching that it's true stuff but um so yeah you know once in a while you show me stuff that i'm into I've been watching that stuff with Cody you, and The Rock. And all I told you the other day lately. we got to go back to Attitude Era. Yeah. WWE. But uh, for this story, where to begin with it? Um, it started off in a way that, like, I, I think, who is this director? Written and directed by the same guy. Really? Because what has he done in the past? I, I'm, I'm curious. very curious to find out because he oh. is a phenomenal director. Read those off to me. I can't see. Iron Claw, Dead Ringers, The Rental. I haven't heard of any of these movies. Dead uh, Ringers sound familiar. What did he direct? Dead Ringers, The Nest. I don't know what any of these movies are. Keep reading. South Cliff is a miniseries. Martha, Marcy, May, Marlene. Is That's this nominated it. for any Oscars? I don't think so. I think it's been a big like direct. I think it's been like a big snub because oh, yeah, really? I think from a writing this. I think from a writing and directing standpoint, as we talk, this is one of those movies where you would look so much at the performances and the story was so engaging from beginning to end. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the directing on it was so solid. Everything felt very authentic. It was it breathed really well. This was a movie that could have easily gone down into tragedy porn, but the movie yeah. I think did such a great job at illustrating um, the love in a way that wasn't like, "Hey, hey, tragedies around yeah. the corner." Yeah. This is the love right now because it was always going for such a sense of uh, realism because it would weave in and out of the troubles and the hardship and the emotional abuse. But it was also about the kinship of of the brothers, that that love. And it did a great job of using the wrestling as a storyline to interwoven into their personal lives as well. You know? Yeah. Like using the moment of you can see like the shifts breaking when David is offered that when the dad starts to favor David, you know, mm-hmm. you see that in the wrestling ring and then it translates out of it. Um, yeah, great moments because they, they use the promo. That's the second you see him great on the mic. You're like, oh, this is going to be a problem. And sure enough, it becomes slowly over time a problem. Um, it's like the allegory for the real wrestling ring was in the family household. <laughs> yeah, right. I think it's fascinating because i know the history of a lot of yeah what did, what did you know before we watched this what so did, i knew that almost all of them were dead died in tragic circumstances i thought one the of details, them was in a wheelchair the details were kind of correct okay i thought in my mind i thought one of them was in a wheelchair i thought uh kevin was in a wheelchair i must have uh. but um i have not seen the dark side of, of i know there's an episode but i haven't seen it mm. i just knew that that all of the brothers, like, and I knew the dad owned a promotion and then they had to sell it. I knew that. Um, but I, and I knew one of them, I didn't know two committed. I thought one of them did. Uh huh. So on YouTube, we have to it's not say that word. Yeah. <laughs> I will mental note to mute that word <laughs> for this. I knew one of them on a live. It's so stupid. On a live so himself. Stupid because you're talking in terms of sensitive context. Yeah. And yet they're like, whoa, whoa, what'd you just say? <laughs> so stupid. Yeah. But I didn't realize that two of them had. Um, and I knew, I knew one of them uh, died through tragic circumstances, like right before. That is shocking. It really does feel like a curse at that point. You yeah. Know? And, you know, there's like all kinds of spiritual aspects that people can believe of, you know, like, oh, the, the, that, that belief was so strong that they attracted it upon themselves or it was just coincidence or shit just happens or it's fate 
or, you know, whatever it might be, regardless, it is tragic circumstances that befell all of them. And I think it's easier to look at it as a curse instead of a family spiraling out of control uh, with the circumstances surrounding them, you know? Well, it seems like it was the curse was really the dad's belief system more than anything else. Like you see the I think that's what like Lily James, the Pam was, mm-hmm. was trying to say to Zach Efron throughout this whole movie was that the curse is not real, that you are in charge of breaking the, the curse. curse is it's generational a, it's trauma. It's generational trauma. <laughs> the curse is yeah. becoming like your dad. The curse yeah. is avoiding us. The curse is this. Cause like the ripple, like while a lot of these were a lot of the tragedies that would come into the, their lives were pertained to the, the wrestling side of things that would happen, whether that be the, the pressure, you know, like people taking certain substances and getting addicted to things that would deteriorate their body and not taking care of their mental health. I'm using like the like most lack of better word choices here for all these things. Uh, but yeah, regardless, a lot of it, a lot of it wasn't allowing them to like take care of themselves yeah. truly physically and truly mentally and emotionally that they were deteriorating and there was a lot of self-sabotaging and some awful things uh, happened to them. And that was because of the way they were raised. And that was because of the way they, they, as tight of a family unit as they were, they were with their dad. I think this movie does a really good job at psychologically illustrating all that, that the dad used to be a painter or a musician. He used to be a musician. And then he shames his son for going down that career path. And uh, he is a lot of projecting and wanting his kids to fulfill his dreams, live vicariously through them and, and never an acknowledgement of emotions. And and I think like that's one of the movie's messages. Uh, I think it's like, if there's anything that's on the nose in a way that I feel is very earned is the um, drawing the line in the sand between what the dad is like with making everyone a, a hardcore avoidant saying like, don't cry even at the, the, the brothers, the first brother's death. Funeral. Yeah. Take your sunglasses off. Yeah to then going to the boys showing that, no, this is going to change right here, that we are going to allow ourselves to feel our feelings. We are going to allow our, and I think so much of the message is about like, there's a lot of like toxic masculinity, Mm -hmm. you know, like I'm using real simplistic terms, but this is really painted in a way that I I thought was so psychologically well done uh, with, with with the direction being so interesting because while they're treated so real, they did have the, Kind of reminds me a little bit of It Follows in a way uh, of like the way the camera works. Like there's something, there was always something kind of like voyeuristic in in the way the camera was done. Like I remember there's one shot where it's, it's like the camera's in the passenger seat. It's whenever Zac Efron's driving on the road, Mm -hmm. he passes someone in the car and the camera pans over as if it's like a POV of someone, but it's not, there's no one else in the car with him. And so they, they treat the like the POV is that of like it's the curse watching over them trying to seep into them. You know? Or even that shot where it, you're not it doesn't specifically show the dad is the one looking at all of the brothers down below playing. Yeah. You know? But it's more of like a Michael Myers esque like, oh, <laughs> yeah. that killer's watching him through the window. And then he comes out and he's like, you're getting your shot at the belt. Like, yeah, yeah. it's like it's, praying. Yeah. On them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it was a really interesting shot film that also, but it never got to the point where I would call it pretentious. It never, uh, no, it it, it, it it breathes really well and it gives you the space to feel the emotions of the movie without shoving it down your throat. Yeah, because this is a real hard line you got to ride. Yeah, you know, and it does a great job too at throwing you into the wrestling matches because the wrestling matches, I yeah, I would get pulled into the storyline and, um you know, fighting for something that ultimately makes you feel empty, I thought was great because he, like, that's what I loved about what I think, with, with Zac Efron, you know, him being the performance everyone was talking about, he's the main character of the film, as Kevin, I think he really understood the assignment of the purpose of getting in shape mm-hmm. uh, to, the, to, like, really making his body the shaping his body to be the like that what is should be a wrestler yeah well this idea and and also because like this is as you see in the movie like he draws his he throws all of his pain and avoidance into his body Mm -hmm. you know so the the physicality was more than just hey look at zach efron buffing up yet again um, and it's just a different body type. It, it was so um, integral to the characters as a, as a physical representation yeah. of the hardship and pain and commitment and discipline. Like there's so much about it, but man, he gave such a great subtle performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think all of their performances is really well. Um, even Lily James. Now I keep thinking Lily Tomlinson. 
She was the one part of the movie I wish we got to know a little more about, though. She was kind of just like good supportive woman, <laughs> you know. But I feel like she spoke up when needed to. She wasn't. I feel like if we focus too much on her, it would have taken away the brother aspect that the film is really leaning heavily into. Sure. Um, so I, I think she was in just the right amount because she's not supposed to be what ultimately brings him out of this generational trauma. He's supposed to do that himself with her guidance. Does that make sense? Yeah. And, uh, so yeah, I, I actually didn't mind that at all. I wish we had gotten more of the I was the just trying mom. to say what I thought other women would want me to say, but that apparently wasn't the case. <laughs> <laughs> what about the mom? <laughs> I said, I wish we'd gotten more of the mom. And the mom's backstory. Oh, that's so funny because I, I feel like she was appropriately used because she's just become a <laughs> shell of her form. She was so dejected at, at like she is just living in the in the in her husband's um projection yeah. of everything. You well, know? they and all are, yeah. She fell in love with a man who he is not anymore, you know, because that, that sounds like they were like high school lovers. Was he ever that nice. man, though, is the question. Seems like he rejected. It. I mean, she she always saw him for who he could be internally, yeah, yeah. and then he just kept losing sight of that. But you know, people got divorced way less back then. True, true. They would still stay together. They all had really great chemistry. All of the brothers, all the actors, they have really good chemistry with each other. Yeah, they were. They really felt like that's so important for this movie. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for them to really feel like brothers. Yeah, and. I think a lot of attention goes to Zac Efron, not just because he's the main character, but because it's Zac Efron and he doesn't feel like he's trying to win an Oscar. You know what I mean? Well, he's not going to, so. He's not going to. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, sometimes you see a role like this. And you're well, what like, a bummer because he's really good. I know. You're like, oh, shit, he got chipped because he's fucking amazing in this movie. Um, but it's not like a look at me performance. You know, it's a, such an internal as, as much as it's like a physical on the athletic side. Yeah. It's in terms of the emotional side, it's a very internal performance. I think they do a great job of using the eyes to express emotion throughout the film. Like they do a lot of close ups on the blue mm. eyes of Jeremy Allen White and Zach Efron. Like that moment in the ring where he's got the claw on him and he won't let go. There's just a lot of eye work there, you know? Eyes are the window to the soul for a reason. Yeah. But the, I think where the balance comes into with the movie, with the chemistry with them all is. Like we have like the IMDb trailer just like on loop right I now know. in front of us. It, and it reminded me of like some of the earlier scenes in the movie where you would see the dad once in a while. You, you could see the dad wasn't like this one note asshole. Like there were times like they're playing football together. You could see them really bonding. And even as when the dad buys them a car at the very beginning of the movie when it's in black and white when his dad's a competitive wrestler. You could see why they would. They didn't just live in fear. They also still love their dad despite how much they have probably harbored a lot of hate, hate yeah. hatred towards it, their mm -hmm. dad as well. Um, everyone, everyone was so good in this movie. All the performances. I mean, freaking the dad. I mean, all, all Holt is like he's yeah, so good. He's in incredible. The, he's so good in the movie. <laughs> yeah, everyone's great in this film. But and, even the shots of like just watching this, there's that the start of the film where they're all together walking out to the ring, and that still plays throughout. But then one slowly goes away, and then the other one goes away, and then mm -hmm. it's just him walking out to the ring by himself. It's like that storyline carries into the wrestling aspect of it as well. Um, I thought I just think it's brilliantly done. Yeah, I think everything about it was wonderfully shot. Yeah, it was wonderfully captured, and uh, all everyone was great. Not just Zac Efron; everyone was amazing. Is the mandible claw, which is a man a, a move mankind uses, who's another wrestler? Is that a play? That I'm asking your your followers here, your subscribers. Is that a play on the Iron Claw? Because I think the mandible claw is in the mouth, whereas the iron claw is just like on the head. The claw. But I think there, it's like maybe a callback to it. I'm not sure. What does it say here? I don't have my glasses on. Outside of his that career, Ryan Nemeth is a professional wrestler. Who's Ryan Nemeth? Who's Ryan Nemeth? The know. Hollywood hunk on AEW. Kevin's sons are actual wrestlers too. Oh no way! MJF is in this movie. Where? Oh. Uh, Wait, why is this on here? He was signed with all. Uh, uh, Who's Maxwell? Yeah, I know that, but why is he in here? I guess he was in the movie. Maxwell Friedman. 
MJF, he's from AEW. He's a great, he's great. But why I is mean, there... usually these wrestling movies have like a real life wrestler? He plays one of them. Really? Who? I don't recognize his face. That's him. That's Matt. 10 seconds. He's in it for 10 seconds. Oh. <laughs> As who? I have How no idea. We... Oh, it was cut. Oh. It was a cut cameo. That makes more sense because I'm like, I feel like I would have noticed MJF. Oh, that's interesting. He's a very popular wrestler currently and AEW. All right, we'll look up what happened later. Director Sean Durkin instructed Zach Efron to refrain from crying until the last day of shooting when the final scene was shot. Wow, no wonder that when I saw him cry, I was like, yeah. you got me going all over this shit. Damn. The movie makes it seem that, that Mike Von Erich only starts wrestling due to David's death and carries amputation. The real Mike actually made his ring debut in 1983 before both events. Eh, you got to make the narrative, you know. I was like, ah, that, that doesn't bother me, actually. The patriarch of the Von Erich family died of cancer. Oh, okay. So that's what happened to him. 97 at the age of 68. His firstborn son was shocked is there and a, drowned in a wait puddle. A minute, wait, it says, it says five of his six. So was there a missing brother? In this, did they not I put a brother so, in this yeah. movie? Right? Am I, is my math right? Yeah. There's little Jack Jr. And then there was four. Look, there's Chris. We're missing Chris. Oh, oh, interesting. Oh, three of them, uh, three of them unalive unalive themselves. Wow. Yeah. Holy shit. Damn. This is worse. I know. I'm like, whoa. We're just like reading this to ourselves. (laughs) It's quiet. (laughs) Like, this is good. good, So this is the Gino (laughs) Hernandez. Gino Hernandez and Bruiser Brody, two wrestlers most relative to the Von Erics, died. That's why I was like, that's it. Brody had like a horrific death. Mm. It was also, I think, on an episode of Dark Side of the Ring. But, oh, listen to this one. There's a two-year gap between the night the foot was. Oh, interesting. Eh, you got to make the narrative. <gasps> That's what the coin is for. I didn't pick that up. I thought it was like paying the toll to get to the other side, uh-huh. but it's to reference the flip, the coin flip. Oh yeah. Well, don't worry. It'll create engagement in the comments, and they won't make it this far from while they're comment. True. See you. True. <laughs> so, you got it wrong. No, actually, she's not paying the toll. <laughs> actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I didn't pick up on it either. I was like, oh, I, I, need, I thought it was the myth of paying the toll. Have, you don't need to have wrestling information <laughs> to pick up on that, and I completely missed I it. I also yeah. took a Greek mythology course, <laughs> yeah. so... I thought you were right. I was like, oh, that's a great ghost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I should, yeah, I've heard that. Um, I loved it. I, yeah, thought that was, I thought that was a really great movie. Man, it really got me in the feels. Sometimes, you know, you sit, sit into a drama, and you're like... It's going to be some, like, slow-ass, boring, like, well, let's just hammer home the tragedy kind of shit. Yeah. And I was like, no, this is a really engaging. It's just, a, it, all in all, it's a really engaging, and maybe it's not the most appropriate word to say, but it is an entertaining film, too. You know? Like, I think simultaneously. it's appropriate. Yeah, I think it's also entertaining. Wrestling is entertainment at the end of the day, you know? Yeah, so I mean. I thought it was just going to be, like, some slow-moving drama, but I was like, <laughs> It's actually also a really engaging, entertaining yeah. experience simultaneously. So, yeah, I guess I just, I craved a little bit more from Lily James. You craved a little bit more from the mom. Yeah. And uh, that's about my only real. That's my only. <laughs> I like, think it's brilliant otherwise. Yeah, other than that, I'm like, that give, me like give me like a 99%. <laughs> that was an excellent film. That's, that's got to be one of my favorite movies of, this is 2023 actually, I think. It's is gotta it? Be, it's got to be one of my favorite movies of 2023. Yeah, it's incredible. Just uh, John Wick 4, right? You know how much that. I love generational trauma. Yeah. <laughs> and delving into why we should break generational trauma curses. So I, I love this film. Well, you're here, babes. Thanks, babes. I think it's perfect for us to watch. I know. Usually we watch like something silly. It's the first time I think we watch something so serious Moving together. Drama. And it's all camera. because I watched wrestling. <laughs> like, like, you're the perfect person <laughs> to watch us with. <laughs> Oh my gosh. All right, you gotta go check on our cats. Thank you guys so much for being here. Leave your thoughts down below. I'll talk to y'all soon. Eric Horseman 
Eric. Eric. My man, My Eric man. Horstman. Cheers to you, buddy. Cheers to you. I still have fantasies about just going out to Atlanta and meeting you in person. I think about uh, it. That could have been a much more interesting fantasy. A few times a month. The problem is right now I am restricted on travel, which is true. Uh-oh. Because of crime. Because of crime that I committed. Yeah. They, I am legally not allowed to leave my house. <laughs> no, and then that would be the perfect time because you have more free time than ever before. That's true. So, like, really, this was the one opportunity that we could have come visited you, Greg especially. And, uh, but, dude, I want to see that tattoo in person. And then what I'm going to do, ooh, there's going to be some cyanide involved. Sure. <laughs> And that's when I bring my hunter knife to Atlanta. There we go. And then I carve off the patch like you're a zombie from Walking Dead. <laughs> it's us or Eric Horseman. I wear your skin Ooh. on my arm. Leather sup. That way I don't have to commit to the tattoo in case I don't <laughs> want it. Yeah, just get it laminated. Just you know, strap it, take velcro a it on. Stapler. Staple your skin. Yeah. Like Texas Chainsaw. God, I don't think they do that. It's romantic. Dude. But it's really, <laughs> really staple, sweet. staple your skin to my skin. It's like you're together. I bet you like more that. More than, than and just then words. I attend your funeral. Oh, with the pit with it on. Yeah, but I have my suit jacket on. No one could tell. Oh, shit. But then the camera slowly zooms in on my arm. And then the capacity the drops. <laughs> and you see, you still my tattoo blood. is still there. <laughs> There's, yeah, you see <laughs> the x ray vision of the sleeve. Because it's the audience perspective now. Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> we do like one of those Guy Ritchie shots where it goes up your cuff and then somehow inside your shirt we see That's it. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Baby. And then like we cut to the inside of the coffin. I am you. And then when everyone's gone, I carve off your face. Oh. Then I wear your face every night. Sleep in it, and then I'll carve off like your the lower half of your body and make some necro pants. Yeah, so Google Google necro pants. Yeah, that's that's a real about. thing, and you could be one. Can't wait to wear you. I want to wear you so bad. <laughs> <laughs>